welcome in this video lecture i am going to uh, discuss very good feature of minitab 20.3 version which is basically the graph related um, option that is basically the graph builder so if we click on a graph builder we are getting our window okay and here we have uh, the data set or you can say the variables all which we have uh, available in our data set so over here we have a variable and over here we have uh, all the graphs that are available in the mini tab. So uh, if I am just drag and drop the variable over here, mini tab uh, graph builder automatically gave us the option what kind of graph you want to display. Like if I am taking the variable gender over here, so it is giving me all the graphical option like how you can represent this variable graphically either through bar chart or either through heat plot okay so let me take another variable like that is basically the job category okay so if i am taking the job category still it is showing me the two type because both the variables are the qualitative type but right now, if I am clicking on the bar chart, as you can see that the first chart is a bar chart, another one is the uh, job category type of chart. Okay. If I go back graph gallery, okay. Similarly, you can check the heat map. Let me uh, take another variable, which is basically a continuous variable. If I am taking that one, which is a salary, now you can see we have multiple type of option of the graph. So the first one, if that is basically the histogram. So if I click over here, so you can see that this is basically showing us the salary histogram with respect to the gender. So the blue color is representing the histogram of the female salary and whereas this pink color is representing the histogram of the male salary. Okay, so this is basically a dynamic graph, right? So this is also showing us with respect to the job category perspective. So this is basically with respect to the male and female histogram of the custodial job category, this is indicating with respect to the manager. So if I go back, similarly, we can check the box plot. Okay, and this is the box plot. You can see gender and job category, and this is basically indicating the histogram. So that means female doing the job clerical post and the quantitative variable salary, what is the histogram? So we can use it as the comparison purpose so let me go back and uh, incorporate uh, another context variable which is salary at the beginning okay now if you can see that we have the two quantitative variables salary and salary begin if i click over the scatter plot now you can see that they are showing me the scatter plot with respect to male and female similarly we can check with respect to manager we can check with respect to custodian okay so now we can uh, see that what kind of the relationship that means male and female having the salary when they join the organization and currently at what position they are doing and what is the salary position so you can see that salary at the beginning and the current salary having the positive relationship so you can also check with respect to this one so this is very good option in the mini tab so you can draw multiple type of uh, charts so similarly you can check binge uh, scatter plot okay that is basically showing with respect to the gender perspective male and female so different kind of charts you can uh, check uh, automatically draw by the mini tab so which is very very good option so let me check with respect to the bar chart so if you can see this is the categorical variable this is basically the summarized variable which is basically right now they are using mean so if i click over here so you can also use different type of function so right now i'm using the mean function similarly you can also check because we have the two types of the category one is gender and another is the job category i can also click over here that is we can draw the side by side or you can say multiple bar chart or we can draw scatter uh, stack chart okay or you can say the cluster chart normally it is known as stack chart okay so this is the very good uh, option with in the mini tab with graph builder in the version 20 in order to draw multiple type of graphs automatically
Thank you so much. See you in the next video.